about Ukraine's neighbors in that context uh, of what may be, as you say, a continuing partisan fight. Uh, you, only, you only have to look at a map to see that Poland would be a crucial uh, point of transit for uh, supplies of every sort, but most importantly in the scenario you're describing, military supplies that would allow the Ukrainians to, to fight on. Uh, we've seen the Russians get awfully close to the Polish border in terms of their reprisal attacks in Western Ukraine. Just state clearly so our viewers understand what NATO's response would be if Russia tried to attack Poland or Romania or another country that it saw as a safe haven uh, for supporting the, the Ukrainian resistance. Sure. Well, I think that, you know, you alluded to this in that question about how close the Russians and their attacks have gotten to the Polish border. I was floored that when President Biden was visiting Poland, including close to the Polish-Ukrainian border, the Russians lobbed several missiles into Lviv, Ukraine, which is also close to the Polish-Ukrainian border. I was floored that, that the Russians would do that with the American president in Zeshuv. And the preceding week, we had a bipartisan congressional delegation here um, led by Senator Portman with, with Senator Klobuchar and Senator Blumenthal and Senator Wicker here, who were also at the border when the missile came in to the training facility and killed 35 people. And they weren't 15, 20 miles from that missile attack that also wounded 150 people. So yes, there is a reckless and, and horrific nature to the Russian attacks, no matter who is close to the Polish-Ukrainian border. And um, I think that, you know, the President Biden has been very clear that NATO and the United States will defend every square inch of NATO territory, which includes Poland. And that's been so important because, David, when I've gone on Polish television, I've made clear, and I've said in Polish, Polska jest bezpieczna i Polska ja zabezpieczona. Poland is safe and Poland is secure. And the great thing about President Biden's visit to the eastern border of Poland and Ukraine, of Poland with Ukraine, is much more powerfully and much more resolutely, he said the exact same thing, that they will defend every, that we will defend every square inch of Polish territory. That was tremendously reassuring to the Poles. And you have to remember that the subject we first talked about, David, the humanitarian response by the Poles, to me very clearly is linked to the topic we're talking about now, the security piece. What I mean is, that Poland is a member of NATO and it feels less anxious and less uncertain despite the fact that it is on the border of this crisis than if it weren't a member of NATO. And because it is less anxious and because it is more certain, it, its people are more open and willing to rush to the border and open their homes and their hearts to the Ukrainian people as opposed to if they were hunkered down. So there is an interdependence to the security and humanitarian responses I really want to emphasize. And then lastly, to be most directly responsive, but without getting into, into specifics, you know, it, it is just a fact as to why we have 10,500 US soldiers here, our best weaponry, our best logistical equipment, our best defensive um, tools of war. And that is to immediately and with a degree of absoluteness defend this country. And the Poles are in lockstep with that. We, the, there are defense coalitions with other countries, including the Brits and the Croats and the Czechs and the Slovaks. And there is a, a kind of a meshing together of the militaries here that is powerful. And I think the an attack on this country would be met forcefully and decisively. And I think Putin knows that.